cell size, shape, and function are actually very diverse. A cell shape tells you about its function. This is a smooth muscle cell, which is connected to other muscle cells in places like the stomach. It can contract to move food in the stomach. Cells are also very, very, very small. They have to be small in order to get materials they need into the cell and to get wastes out of the cell. It comes down to a ratio between their surface area and their volume. Let's compare three different cubes to understand this better. We've got a small, medium, and a large cube here. The large has an edge of 6 centimeters, which gives it 216 square centimeters of surface area and 216 cubic centimeters of volume. The medium has an edge of 4 centimeters, which makes the surface area 96 and the volume 64. And the small cell has an edge of 2 centimeters, which makes the surface area 24 square centimeters and the volume only 8 cubic centimeters. When you look at the surface area to volume ratio, you can see that the small cube actually has three times more surface area compared to its volume when it's compared to the large cell here. This means that there's more surface area for the cell to transport the things it needs in order to survive. Now all cells have some basic features in common. Here's an animal cell and a bacterial cell. They both have a cell membrane, cytoplasm with a jelly-like cytosol, and a control center, which consists of DNA. The cell membrane controls what enters and exits the cell. The cytoplasm is a fluid with cytoskeleton, and in eukaryotes, it also has organelles. The control center includes DNA for regulating functions and reproducing. In eukaryotes, the DNA is kept in the dense nucleus, but in prokaryotes, it's loosely coiled around the center. The two cells here represent the two types of cells, eukaryotes and prokaryotes. Eukaryotes have a nucleus and membrane-bound organelles. They're also larger than prokaryotes. Prokaryotes are much simpler than eukaryotes. Plants and animals are made of eukaryotic cells, and bacteria are prokaryotic cells. Now, some cells live in colonies, but because they don't have a division of labor, they aren't considered multicellular organisms like plants and animals. The truly multicellular organisms, like you and me, have levels of organization to help divide the labor. The base level is the cell, like this smooth muscle cell. They gather and work together as tissue, which is part of an organ, like the stomach, which is also part of an organ system, like the digestive system, which is also part of an organism like this rat. The digestive system plays a role in getting nutrients so that other parts of the body won't have to worry about it. Thanks for watching this episode of Teacher's Pet. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at ScienceBet.